The Nigerian Navy has also been involved in joint operations and internal security operations, including counterinsurgency operations in the Northeast, internal security operations in the North Central, anti illegal bunkering and anti militancy operations in the South South, as well as anti illegal bunkering and anti pipeline vandalism in the Southwest. Law enforcement or prosecution of offenders is a crucial aspect of Nigerian Navy's operational engagement to safeguard the nation's maritime domain. For this, the Nigerian Navy collaborates with stakeholders such as the Police, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and Federal Ministry of Justice that have powers of prosecution. The Nigerian Navy effective collaboration with stakeholders led to the launch of the Harmonized Standard Operating Procedure on arrest, detention and prosecution of vessels and persons in Nigeria's maritime environment in January 2016. This and the Suppression of Piracy and Other Maritime Offenses Act 2019 has greatly aided the fight against maritime crimes as evidenced by the conviction of 10 pirates on 23 July 2021 under the Suppression of Piracy Act. Effective collaboration with other maritime stakeholders recently encouraged the ITO Global Group to donate 50 gunboats and other maritime security assets to the Nigerian Navy in an impressive ceremony where the SBS conducted Operation Falcon Fury to demonstrate the capacity of the Nigerian Navy to eliminate maritime criminals. The Nigerian Navy is equally supporting regional efforts towards collective maritime security. Regularly, the Nigerian Navy participates in some combined multinational exercises which include Exercise Grand African Nemo, Exercise Obangame Express, and Operation Junction Ray. The efforts of the Nigerian Navy in the last six years have contributed significantly to improve security within a nation's maritime domain, leading to the arrest of several persons and vessels in criminal activities. Its operations also successfully checkmated large-scale theft of crude oil and other illegal refined products, effectively denying resource thieves the proceeds of their crimes amounting to approximately 96 billion naira between 2015 and July 2021. It further ensured a drastic reduction of piracy and sea robbery within the nation's waters. For instance, in 2016, 51 successful pirate attacks were recorded, while as of 2020, only 22 pirate attacks were recorded. Furthermore, as of July 2021, only five Paris attacks were recorded. The good news, however, is that our efforts is yielding positive results as there has been a shift from piracy activities from the nation's maritime domain to the waters of neighboring littoral states. I'm not saying it's good news because we are also, you know, impacted upon. In fact, International Maritime Bureau recently acknowledged a marked decline in piracy and other illegal activities to an all-time lowest level since 1994. In the last six years, the Nigerian Navy has embarked on ambitious fleet recapitalization program which involves the procurement of sophisticated ships, modern aircraft, specialized boats, and special operations vessels. In the major fleet renewal milestone, the Nigerian Navy recently took delivery of its first ever purpose-built offshore survey vessel, NNS Lana, from Osea, France.
For the first time since 1979, the service has also taken delivery of a new landing ship tank, NNS Kada, from Diamond Shipyard, UA. Major boost for maritime security efforts, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari has approved two new offshore petrol vessels for the Nigerian Navy. The Nigerian Navy also procured a total of 313 riverine patrol boats of various types and mix in support of its operations. The service acquired 168 outboard engines for the boats. On the issue of consolidating uh uh, Nigerian Navy shipbuilding endeavor, we are not relenting. And therefore, the Nigerian Navy intends to collaborate with other reputable shipbuilding yards, both locally and internationally. For example, we are partnering with Paramount Group of South Africa, as well as Bureau Veritas, which is an international shipbuilding accrediting company who are partnering with us in the construction of the uh, CO Defense about uh, three, which will soon be commissioned, uh, perhaps in September. All things being equal, we also leverage on modern technology, especially the fourth generation industrial revolution solutions, to enhance our shipbuilding efforts. Also, manpower is key to the sustenance of the Nigerian Navy shipbuilding efforts. The Nigerian Navy, in this regard, has revamped the Moribund Apprentice Training School in the naval dockyard at uh, Victoria and Lagos. This school will readily sustain the Naval Dockyard Limited and Naval Shipyard Limited while contributing to the national technical human capacity development for the maritime sector. Conscious of the need to deploy highly motivated, skilled and resourceful personnel to secure the nation's maritime environment and by extension, its economic prosperity. The Nigerian Navy in the last six years commissioned 1,175 officers and enlisted 7,093 ratings. Currently, 1,300 ratings are undergoing training at the Nigerian Navy Basic Training School, Oni River State. The leadership of the Nigerian Navy realizes the importance of welfare towards a healthy and motivated workforce. Hence, there has been concerted efforts towards the provision of suitable barracks accommodation for Nava personnel in Nava units and establishment, as well as improvements in medical facilities. Prominent among these are the provision of two blocks of 16 two-bedroom flat senior rating quarters. The ongoing towards the completion of Navy Town, Asokoro, Abuja.
on healthcare for personnel. An ultra-modern reference hospital was commissioned in Calabar, Cross River State, while upgraded imaging and dentist center have been added to the Nigerian Navy Reference Hospital, Lagos. The Nigerian Navy Medical Center in Borukiri, Podakot, is currently being upgraded to serve the medical needs of the Nava community in that area. The Nigerian Navy has put in place a comprehensive annual medical test for all personnel in a bid to ensure healthy workforce. As the Nigerian Navy establishes new naval bases in Lekki, Kano, and Oguta, there is also renewed emphasis on civil military cooperation activities. On the whole, the Nigerian Navy has been resolute in achieving set objectives of ensuring that Nigeria's maritime area is safe and open to legitimate activities through the emplacement of appropriate strategies. Going forward, the leadership of the Nigerian Navy is committed to ensuring these successes are sustained through leadership, training, good reward system, provision of adequate welfare support for personnel, and responsiveness to transformational trends. The federal government has remained instrumental to the giant strides achieved by the Nigerian Navy. The service appreciates Mr. President's affable support in meeting her constitutional mandates. I must note that the federal government has been supportive to Nigerian Navy fleet recapitalization efforts and other developmental agenda of the Navy. With respect to our recent successes, apart from the enablement provided by the federal government, under the able leadership of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, I wish to use this opportunity to acknowledge the support and encouragement of the National Assembly, Federal Ministries of Defense, Finance and Transportation, as well as other stakeholders. In addition, I wish to put on record the untiring dedication and sustained professionalism of officers and ratings of the Nigerian Navy. With more solidarity and goodwill, the Nigerian Navy would improve security in the nation's maritime environment and this will translate to prosperity for all citizens and residents of Nigeria. Nigerian Navy, onward together.